young people are, are using ketamine instead of Coke, for example, instead of drinking, you know, it's sort of the, the, the drug of choice for raves and stuff. Maybe give us a little history of, because everybody, you know, oh, it's horse tranquilizer, which to me was PCB, but give us a history of A, where it came from, and B, how it got to sort of, you know, the ubiquity that it has now. The discovery of PCP was this watershed moment where, for the first time, there was an anesthetic that didn't cause respiratory depression. And this was a huge deal because in the past, it was all quaalude, barbiturate, opioid type things that basically kind of almost put you into a deep sleep coma type state. Yeah. And suddenly there's this new type of drug. It actually seems to increase your blood pressure slightly. And yet you lose consciousness. There's this guy, Vic Maddox. And in the pilot of my show, I actually went to this uh, graveyard where his body resides in Grand Forks, North Dakota, I believe, mm -hmm. and uh, lay a bouquet of flowers on his grave to thank him for this discovery mm. um, and interviewed his widow who talked about his pride that uh, the Queen of England gave her horse PCP, and this was like one of the things that he really cherished. The Queen of England gave the horse PCP. Yeah, yeah. And, um, and she gave me some of his poetry. He was a poet. Wow.